Nothing in life is free, and that's true when trading Solana meme coins. And if you don't pay attention to fees, you'll end up watching your portfolio burn. I'm here to help anyone wondering why they are still losing when Bullocks or Photon says that they are winning. I'll break down each fee and show you a clutch calculator app specific to Bullock fees to help you hang on to your gains. People jump into trading without a clue about the fees. They simply ask what other people use and replicate it without any understanding of why, but they either end up paying too much at low profits or set fees way too low and miss trades. If trading with less than one soul at a time, please understand that you might need 20 to 40% profit margin to even break even. Why so high? Bullex and trading bots have base fees in addition to blockchain fees. For example, a 0.05 priority fee and thought that that's it, it's actually just stacked onto a list of other fees that are required to complete the transaction. Breaking down those fees, here's a fee calculator built for Bullex fees. On the buy side, you have a platform fee, a transaction fee, priority fee, bribe fee, and a creation fee. Priority and bribe are two optional fees. However, they're needed in order to prioritize filling your transaction faster. On the sell side, you have the same minus the creation fee. If you happen to be trading on pump fund, you're gonna be paying a 1% pump fund fee on both sides until the coin has migrated. Let's break down the platform fee. Also called the transaction fee by the trading tools. This is the fee that the bot charges you for essentially using it. So on Bullock's Neo, that's 1%, Nova charges 1%, Bloom 1%, Photon 0.9%, Bullock 0.9%, Mevex 0.8%, and then Ape Pro is 0.4%. So if you're really trading with a small port and wanna trade funds from a DEX or terminal, Ape Pro might be the best choice for you considering that they charge less than half the fees that others do. Also note that in addition to these base platform fees, they may also have a hidden tip required by their processor as a priority fee minimum. For Bullex, I believe that's 0.0015. Next is a transaction or blockchain fee, the minimum required to complete the transaction on the chain. There is gas required, not as crazy as ETH or anything like that, but you do have required fees that the processor processors and Solana charge to complete the transaction. Next two fees are optional. They improve the likelihood of your transaction landing. First is priority fee. We can hop over to Jupiter who has a document that outlines the priority and its purpose. Priority fees are optional. By paying an additional fee, you improve the chances of your transactions landing more quickly. Transactions submitted to the blockchain are prioritized based on the fee bidding process. The higher the priority, the higher your transaction is in the execution queue. So ultimately, it's key to know the more that you pay, the higher likelihood that your transaction gets completed first if your priority is higher. This is why you see snipers with huge wallets, million dollar plus big whales sniping new tokens. They'll have priority fees and bribe tips that are worth $100,000 plus guarantees their transaction lands first. Bribe is similar to priority. Leveraging GDO tips can significantly improve your chances of landing transactions in time sensitive environments. GDO allows users to use bundle transactions in they land on the blockchain exactly as intended, which mitigates risks such as front running. So a tip paid to Jito helps ensure protection. And because Jito is a little slower, giving a higher bribe tip Jito essentially allows it to complete the transaction faster. Note that you have the option of using both bribe tips and priority fees together. You can see here from Bloxroot, who's a processor, that when going against someone who just uses priority fee versus priority fee and tipping, all the transactions that were successful completed were completed first by someone who used both priority fee and MEV. However, do note that you might be wasting your soul trying to use higher fees if there is no competition to buy. If it is not a highly volatile token or it's not likely to rise rapidly in market cap, there is no reason to use excessively high fees because there is no competition to beat you out for that buy slot. So it is critical to remember that you only need to prioritize getting in with a immediate fill in the event that there is actual competition at that price point. For example, if we go to Solana and look at NeoVision, click into any new pair, we see up here what the recommended bribe is of 0 0.0136 for a MEV protected transaction. We estimate the 0.1 priority fee 0 
0.015 and the 0.1 five even at 20 percent gain we're at a loss 30 percent still a loss 50 percent just break even using automatic or recommended tips you might be at a loss overall your profit margin needs to be much higher to break even so in a scenario like this for you to actually come away 50 percent up you needed to be at 100 percent actually you needed to be closer to 120 percent with 50 percent profit on your 0.1 buy and so that's why most people end up wondering why in the world their portfolio keeps going down when their PL list is green. Some tips to avoid fee burn, keep an eye on Bullex. Go to the bottom right hand side and see the Solana Live bribe updates. This will show you the average landing time as well as the fees that people are paying. So you can see that if you're running a MEV transaction and you try to use a bribe of 0.001, the max landing time is around five seconds on priority. That's pretty high. Those would be scenarios to consider upping your fee. Now you're talking about getting into 10 20 percent of your total buy amount on the bribe which is a problem if you need to close out quickly this would be a scenario and consider looking into another bot my suggestion would be using nova nova essentially is able to get you filled very quickly with lower fees than bullex they use a better processor they also utilize ultra v2 and so ultra v2 uses that priority mev exchange that i was talking about earlier that increases the likelihood your transaction lands without needing high fees i've been successful using low fees 0.0001 on my main wallet with minimal issue the only time I've needed to increase this obviously when I'm put in the calculator kind of what you're planning on trading you'll get a better understanding of what your take profit actually needs to be leverage this tool to get familiar with best practices for your portfolio size as you get to one sole trades or 10 sole trades priority fees don't matter because it's 10 percent of what you were paying before it's not a big deal in the grand scheme however for you to understand when you have a small port what fees are going into that i'm hoping that we can get a calculator that has a pump fund toggle as well as the fees loaded for the other popular bots that should be coming soon. This helped you see why you can win trades but still lose money due to fees. Nothing's truly free. If you found this useful, like and subscribe. More tips, stay blessed.